so I'm going to plant some strawberries from seeds and I've done this lots of times and so I have the little peat pots um, soaking up the water I always like to use extremely warm water when I start with this and I'm just going to let them soak until they expand all the way and then any excess water I'll just um, dump out so we're all ready to plant they've soaked up the water after the water has been soaked up I dump any extra off then I set the lid on and I let it sit for about two hours I just want that moisture to go all through those little cells then I like to take a toothpick and just kind of work my way around because these strawberry seeds are going to be on the sown on the surface. I am going to put just a dusting over top of them, but that's really just to help with contact. Now strawberry seeds are so tiny, so I get the toothpick wet. And that way, focus. There it goes, there it goes. Can you barely see that tiny little seed on there? It's crazy. And I'm gonna set it right on the soil. Put a little dot of water. And I'm actually gonna put two to three in each one. Because I have enough seeds. Now you know I'm not trying, I'm trying not to use plastic. But I had this little thing so I could show it with the Boy Scouts on Saturday just to give them some options. And since I had already bought it, I thought I might as well use it for my strawberries. Now it's important that the seeds have contact with the soil when you're sowing on the surface. And so when we do that little dusting, it makes it so that we can actually press it into the soil more because we don't want the seeds to dry out when they start and that soil contact is so important. Oop, that one went shooting over there. Let me get that wet again so I can pick it up, move it back over there. So there we have four of them. And so I'm gonna just take this is very light, and I'm just gonna sprinkle that on there. And that way I can press it down, and I know it has some soil contact. I'm not pressing hard either. I am just, just want it to have some good soil contact. And as I spray it, when I water it, because I'm gonna spray it with a little sprayer, um, some of that top soil will just disappear. And I've grown strawberries just so many times from seed. And I'm just going to finish that whole thing. You don't have to watch me do that. That would be silliness. And then it's going to go with this lid on it. And this only costed, I think, like a dollar twenty-five or something. No, I take it back. I think it was a dollar. I think I got it at the dollar store. But I'm going to actually put some tape around on different spots so it holds it down farther. And then I'll do videos every once in a while when it shows them starting to sprout. I'll show you when I ha go to um, put them in a bigger container and then I'm gonna use my paper pot so that I can plant them right in the soil when they're ready. But growing strawberries from seeds is really fun. The type I'm growing today is called Sagan. It's supposed to be a very dark red strawberry and the inside is supposed to be equally dark. So that should be kind of fun. I have a lot of different strawberry varieties. And one of the easiest ones to grow here in Wyoming is called Seascape. And it produces well, makes good sized strawberries, they're delicious, but there's just so many different kinds to buy. If you're buying plants, strawberry plants, or a lot of different berry plants, I would, um, suggest you go to Norris Farms. They are an exceptional um, company. The prices are exceptionally good, especially the more you buy, the cheaper they get. And I 
went with a whole bunch of people last year and we bought all kinds of strawberry plants and raspberries and blueberries and a whole bunch of stuff. Great company, so I'll link them below. But there's a lot of plants, strawberry plants that you can't get unless you grow them from seed. And so this is, they're easy to propagate, they're easy to maintain, so why not try some different kinds? So this is Sandy at Apple Cottage. Like, subscribe, share with the world. Stay warm. It's cold here. And I'll see you next time.